All right, so here's a story on this semi truck. This thing is a grain hauler on a farm. This farm is where I get a lot of the pickup trucks that are trashed completely, covered in dust. This one's covered with tons of grain from, you know, trolling along next to one of those combine harvesters, and it's completely trashed. So we're gonna be gutting the inside, making this thing look like new. But as always, guys, I need to make sure, are you subscribed? Yes. Yes! Do you have those notifications turned on? Yes! And by doing so, it's what makes this channel possible. And I want to say thank you for everyone that has been subscribed over the years throughout all of these videos. And for anybody new, welcome to Stoffer Garage Crew. And let's go ahead and get started. And for all of you that commented in last week's video, you know that there was a giveaway for $100 and the winner from last week's video is Sean Garten, who commented about Yellowstone, the TV show. Honestly, it's the TV show I absolutely love. Um, it makes me wanna move out west, get a ranch, cows, horses, the whole nine yards, essentially turn into a cowboy. If you've not seen it before, it's insane. It's a great TV show. Um, but anyways, make sure you guys watch towards the end of this video because in this video, I'm going to be giving away a vacuum, the same exact one that I use in all of my details. So make sure you stick around, watch the whole video, so that way you know what the giveaway question is, so that way you can be entered in. Now while you guys are watching this video, I think you might think that these floors are easy to clean because they're rubber and plasticky. Um, a lot of work trucks have this option, especially Ford gives us an option for their trucks and Chevy. Um, but it's actually the complete opposite. I think um, carpet would almost be easier because these grooves are so stiff and like the dirt can get so embedded in there that my drill brush struggled to get them completely clean. So it took a longer than actually just extracting the whole carpet wood in general. Plus the fact that the whole cab in this truck is like six feet off the ground and I'm trying to set up the camera tripod in every position to show you guys all the shots. I mean, I would rather detail a tiny sports car coupe than a semi because of just the struggles of filming and trying to clean it at the same time for you guys so you could see all the work involved. But at the end of the day, you guys will be impressed with the end results, I promise.
Now with as much of the dirt vacuumed up and kind of cleaned up as possible, the steam cleaner was definitely utilized. When you have this much dust in a car, there's really not any best way to get it all out before, you know, you have to kind of steam clean it first to try to help blow as much out. You know, you could use a tor tornador or air compressor, but that kind of just blows it everywhere where at least with the steam, it kind of blows it out at the same time, but by introducing a little bit of water vapor, it keeps it from splashing everywhere and kind of going all in the air and everything and getting over anything that was already cleaned prior. So use the steam cleaner super heavily in this video, as you guys will see, to get this thing cleaned. Now, most common question that I get is about using steam on electrical components and switches, spraying the door panels and electronics with all-purpose cleaner. Um, you gotta remember, a lot of these trucks and cars and anything new nowadays is built to be introduced to a lot of humidity. Washing the car. I mean, these cars get tested for this. All these switches and components have to go through rigorous testing, and you're not really introducing a ton of liquid that will cause any sort of damage. Obviously, you don't wanna completely pour a bucket of water on components like this, but the amount of liquid that we're introducing here is minimal, and we're cleaning it all up anyway. So keep that in mind when you're cleaning your car. Um, you don't wanna go crazy, but also don't be um, scared that you're gonna damage anything, in my personal opinion.
Now for everyone that's anxiously, eagerly waiting for the exterior detail to be done, I will say that once I got this interior done, it took about six hours just to clean the inside. It was already super dark and super late at night, so I didn't get a chance to do the outside. And if I did start the outside, I can guarantee you just pressure washing alone would have taken six hours because of the amount of components, all the wheels, all the tires. And then with all the chrome on the car, I would have felt bad leaving it like it was and not polishing it. So I guarantee I would have spent at least 18 hours completely detailing this car, or this, I'm sorry, this semi truck top to bottom because of how big it is. So. I'm hoping I can do a tractor or do another semi truck like this again. They actually have 16 of these on this farm. So there's plenty of semi trucks like this that are completely trashed, but hopefully that'll be in the future for you guys. And if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments below. I do want to say all the comments and suggestions of videos you guys want to see in last week's video are much appreciated. I think some of the some of the comments were 
um, video topics that I will definitely cover. So if there's anything else that you guys want to see or anything specific, let me know again um, down below. I think uh, that only helps me out with producing content that I know you guys will enjoy and definitely find useful with helping out with your own vehicles and helping out with your detailing game. Um, you know, for me personally, I'm learning something in every single detail I do, and I hope you guys are getting that out of my videos as well on how you guys can take care of your cars. One really cool thing about this semi in particular is it was a manual transmission, which is really neat. Um, it's an air shift uh, with a Cummins, which is really cool because I used to be an engineer at Cummins um, back in the day. And the other cool thing about this truck 
is the fact that it has 460,000 miles on it and runs like a top. You wouldn't even think it has as many miles on it. I'm sure you guys didn't expect me to say that, but it has over 400,000 miles on it, which is super awesome that this thing has been driven that long, but it's still in actually excellent condition. And when you see the after shots, you'll think it's brand new, which is crazy. Now for everyone that's made it this far in the video, it's time to be entered in for that giveaway for a free vacuum, which I'll just ship directly to your door, whoever I pick for next week's video. All you need to do is just comment down below something motivating, something good that's happened to you this so far this year, or something that you're looking forward to. Because for me personally, 2022 is gonna be a turnaround year. You know, after the last two years with COVID and everything else, this is gonna be a good year for everyone. I just have a lot of faith in that. So. Go ahead and comment below something motivating, something just positive, and you'll be entered in to win a vacuum in next week's video.
Now, as you guys can see, these aftershocks, this truck looks like new, especially after 400,000 miles. It looks amazing. Um, I know that the, the driver of this specific truck in general is was just completely blown away by the results, and he's actually very um, scared to step in the truck and drive it around and just get it dirty again. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you enter in for next week's video to win that vacuum. Comment down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Share it with somebody that you might think would enjoy watching this and also get something out of it with helping them care for their truck or car. And I will see you guys next week.